Hello and good morning and welcome to another episode of Why Details. This is part two of two, possibly three, if time allows in the future, on the new WD BMSV, the White Details BM Support Vehicle. I'm back in the BMW, it feels good, the Jaguar sold. Long story, make sure you check out part one for more. The car is a 2018 F31 335D M Sport Touring. Very happy chappy, and it's going to be a keeper. Uh, part one of the episode was the prep, the introduction to the car itself, the prep, the wash, the decontamination phase, and an introduction to the paint defects and inspection of the paint. Part two, going forward, we're jumping into the polishing stages to the front end, all of the areas that are about to be PPF'd, and then we look at the film itself. Sunset reaction is on the bonnet, the bumper, the headlights, the A pillars, the partial roof, the door the wings, the wing mirrors. It's been a great job. It's a refreshing change to three days paint correction, noise, dust, vibration, and polishing. Rather quite enjoyable, actually. So that and a whole lot more coming up in this episode of White Details. Although they haven't had a full time to fully dry out, so there's moisture there still, and it's, it was a slap on application, so it's, uh, it's not the best finish. That is still quite impressive. So hopefully we can see without having to describe what we're looking at, but left side, PPF, right side, the original state, the original condition of the flat black. As we go across the haze and the majority of the marks vanish. That wasn't polished. That's just film on top. As you can see, removed and that is the haze that was beneath. Adhesive left behind as well. Deal with that in a bit. Onto the pillars we have before. And then over the top. There's some moisture pockets in there where it's not fully dried out, but there we go. You see the marring, the 
stretches on this PPF section on the right hand side uh, with heat that is now going to be removed. I'm trying to scratch it at the minute. Oh, there we go. There's some more marks. Look, let's try and get rid of all that with heat. So left outside on a sunny day or the use of a hairdryer or heat gun or hot water, you should be able to get some temperature into it. And I think they've gone already actually. Before condition, PPF over the top. Helps to mask and hide pretty much the majority. Again, it's not a pretty install, there's still moisture. And I just threw it on there, there's contamination probably as well. Remove the PPF now, give them a single polish, as well as the mirror, as per that side. And then we can think about PPF tomorrow. So far then, I have to say, after the single cut slash single polish to the door, mirror, pillars, aprons, roof, bonnet, wings, bumper, headlights, it looks amazing. Although it's a shame it's the same color as my last mineral gray, it does deliver. And especially when this has finished plotting, what we have here is the two front doors, two wings, fog lights, a pillars, I've got the bumper and bonnet to get sorted after that processing. But similar to Huey's competition winning Monte Carlo Blue M5, which was uh, the first introduction to PPF here at White Details. This is a 50,000 mile old car. There are rock chips and imperfections and road rash in places already. If it was brand new, PPF over the top would be flawless. Mirrors, they've had a single polish now, actually two stage polish, because they get cut up easy with the cutting, so cut and refined, very quick job. Cut and refined, very quick job. The mirrors are gonna be bulked and the pillars are here. Two C pillar, two fog lights, wings, doors. We should nearly be about done now. A few hundred quids worth of material there. And then we press cross cut. Cut. Slice in the middle. Here, boy. All right.
That is an amazing product. It really, really is. First time I've properly seen um, the self-healing properties. Now, why were the scratches there in the first place? They are my tooling marks. Perhaps I've been squeegeeing a bit too dry, a bit too aggressive to get the material down. But with the application of heat, be that from the sun, hot water, or hair dry, or a heat gun, the self-healing ability is fabulous, especially for the gloss black mirrors and the pillars back there. That will, going forward, be a massive bonus. Hey, I'm on vacation every single day. Do, 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 do. Quite enjoyed that this afternoon, or well, all day actually. Um, well, mind you, I didn't start doing film after the plotting and re rinsing the car to get rid of the dust until lunchtime, thereabouts. I'd say I was doing film by one o'clock, two o'clock, it's now half past six. Certainly a different pace for the day. Less noise and less of this. For the next half an hour, I will be heat sealing, heat locking the edges with the heat gun, thumbing down the excess material on the wrapped edges on the side, the wheel arches, the mirrors, the edge of the pillars. Happy with the bulk install on the wing mirrors as well. This wing's done. That area went well in the end. It took a bit of work, took a bit of head scratching, but it will because it's all new. Eh, eh, eh. I'm on vacation. That is the last puzzle piece down on the bumper. The toe eye is now in place. And that's gone very well. Very well indeed, actually. It's great now for me to obviously be able to offer the product, but I need to know how to live with the product, how it responds, how it reacts, day-to-day -day sort of stuff. So look forward to monitoring 
And the doors, mirrors, pillars, partial roof, bonnet, bumper, headlights, fog lights, front wings, and that's it. Now, unfortunately, I've run out of time on the job. I have a few hours tomorrow, but that's just to finish and fessel in the glass, the exhausts and final dressings, which you will see. But now to correct the rest of the car, a two-stage correction on the rear end of the car, the roof, the tailgate, the bumper, I need some more time. That and for the coatings as well. I can't condense that into a day, so there's going to have to wait. The main thing, as I say, I was getting the PPF down. Later this week, I have an appointment with the car, hence why I can't continue with the job. I have an appointment at the garage. So earlier, I said about the full tank of fuel. Happy days, thank you very much. Buying a car with a full tank of fuel is pretty rare, but I have discovered that actually the fuel gauge reads incorrectly. So the previous owner had to brim the car to make sure that I got home because the level sensor in the fuel tank is inaccurate. For a 2018 car, that's the most unusual fault. Uh, and I'm hoping it is just literally one of the two, I think, sensors. So get it plugged in, get a new sensor down, and then at some point get it back in here over a weekend perhaps to finish the polishing and the coating. A couple of weeks ago, when I found out about the fuel level sensor issue problem fault, I thought I would explore. Not quite sure what I was hoping to do myself, but the fuel pump is under the rear bench. I believe it's over that side, so this has been loose since. I've not had any passengers. But look at this lot 2018 car. A lot of crumbs. That's gloss paint. Someone's been decorating, that's... <laughs> Somebody loaded the car with decorating pieces and big old bolt. Oh, that's one of mine. In fact, there should be two. There. Keep them safe. Or not. And the fuel pump itself is under here. But that's as far as my mechanics go, that's where it ends. So I haven't even got the software. Is it BIMA code or something to plug it in? But of course, a nice opportunity to vac all that area. I'm gonna do the leather seats as well after this. First of all, we need to work out how we can get this to stay. You oh, utilize the seat belt, I think.
There was me thinking the leather was already pretty clean. This is actually the rinse water from just the leather seats. I haven't yet rinsed the steering wheel towel, but I'm sure that will be adding to that quite considerably as well. See if you can spot what is wrong in the back. The middle headrest is on backwards. Yeah. That was a strange problem to have. Better. new party piece. I haven't done this yet on camera. I say that I haven't done this at all. So focus. Let's go there. It'll work. Yeah. Okay. Now what we have is a wire brush. This is for a drill attachment. This is very sharp and very scratchy. Hopefully I don't regret this. Oh God, this is hard. Oh, do it. Where are we? Do it. Do it. Ah. Oh. Ah, that was deep. Oh, you can't even see that from here. There we go. Oh. Why have I just done that? Whew. Go on, sunset. Don't let me down. With a heat gun, hair dryer, or hot water, or even sunshine. What we're able to do Wow Wow, wow, wow Well I know I am terribly biased but that is a very nice car and I'm very pleased with that Quite upsetting that I've just seen swirls all over the back doors and the rear quarter uh, Unfortunate that I can't get the time this week. It just means that there may be part three to look forward to. 
Apologies that I split this into two parts, made sense. And I probably should try to do that more often going forward. So tomorrow, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that the trip to the garage goes well. Not so concerned about them clambering all over the car now. Not even the gloss black beepers, because as you've just seen, it will heal itself. Swirls. No swirls. Swirls. Psychologically, it's almost like you do have more of a confidence that the car is protected. Almost like a condom for the car. <laughs> Little BMWs. I'm gonna show you around my installation now. I will show you some of the original paint areas. So there will be defects, there will be swirls, there will be damage in the following footage. However, we're concentrating on the front end and also there will be rock chips. There's stone chips, there is road rash. The car is five years old and it's done 50, 3,000 miles. Inquiries for PPF are coming in thick and fast now for me off the back of the 100K free detail video, the last episode to YouTube, the second to last episode to YouTube because this is two points. So if it is something you are interested in, please do get in contact. Also find my details over on Instagram for daily behind the scenes and updates. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Stay tuned, take care, thanks for watching. Bye for now. This is amazing.